Hey guys, Trevor Boone from Emerald City Guitars, and for the first Les Paul Burst that I'll be presenting during this vault series, I have one of the coolest ones I've ever seen in my life. It's a 1959 Gibson Les Paul Standard in insane condition. This is definitely the top three as far as condition I've ever seen. Cool story about this guitar. We had sold a few bursts in the last nine months or so, and Joe Bonamassa, one of our very good friends, he's got amazing foresight on kind of certain guitars, you know, being unearthed and so kind of discussing that with him, uh, I took advantage of that and tried to open up one guitar stand and I begged him for this guitar. He showed me pictures when he first got it, called me when he first got it. I've been kind of following this thing for a couple years and I was so stoked when it showed up. So thank you, Joe. So this guitar is 100% original, except for these Grover tuners, which is the most common thing you'll see on Les Pauls besides maybe a neck break or something, but <laughs> they did that in 1966. They were great tuners. A lot of people did that, so that's something you see all the time. It's a very honest replacement. Again, everything is untouched except these tuners, which were just, that was the way to go back in the day. So it's kind of cool to see Les Pauls with these old original Grovers, just because you knew that that was a thing they did. And again, I use the word honest, just because it's not, it doesn't look bad on it. It's not, you don't have to, you know, dig out anything or route anything or change the sound. It's just really nice, stable tuners that guys were hip to back in the day. So Joe sourced this from the original owner in 2017. And I have with me these, this stack of paper that he sent with me with an entire timeline of the owner, even picture of the, the music store owner that sold this guitar. It's got the guy when he bought it new, it's got the guy in 76, so full timeline, which I'm telling you, it's just, it's crazy. One of my favorite things about this, the original owner's son in 2004 got to spend some time with Les Paul told about my dad and my guitar and the whole story and Les Paul wrote, make sure to water it. And gave him a little autograph, which is cool, which they took a photo of and just part of the story. And the original strap that would come with the 1959 Les Paul, the original case and this Nerdville tag, which if you know, you know. We go crazy on these. We do not take it lightly when these come in. It checked out perfectly, like Joe and Mike said. The pickups in this are massive. It's a really chunky sounding guitar, which you'll hear, and I just love it. It's as pretty as can be, but it's really got an aggressive side. And with those Grovers, it just kind of brings you down home and makes it real to me, so. Uh, again, we're matching up with this uh, King Cobra made by Matchless. I picked it because of the size, the headroom, the 212s. It's just a great amp, but you get a little bit of everything. So, gonna hand it to Aaron Hebert and see how it sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you guys, that was a 1959 Gibson Les Paul Standard, the real deal, holy grail burst. See you next time.